Most people this week would talk about why the 49ers lost, right? Why their game plan couldn't work three times in one season against the Los Angeles Rams, right? Why the play calling was suspect and a whole lot of the other things mentioning a certain QB and all that, right? But I'm not in the mood for that, honestly. I just, I, I want to look at why, to me, the season for the 49ers was a success. And here's the thing about it. And I know you're going to be asking, how was this season a success, right? To to most, if you don't win the Super Bowl, your team had a bad season. And I do agree with that, in a way. The 49ers kept Jimmy G for that reason. But honestly, I don't think that was the only thing that was on the mind of Kyle Shanahan for the season, right? It would have been easy for him to just play Lance all season and get his development that way, right? Trial by fire. But he didn't do the that because he had a goal for the season right and that was to prove 2019 wasn't a fluke right 2019 is Kyle's only winning season as the head coach of San Francisco 49ers before this one right and that was what everyone was talking about was Kyle's only winning season was a fluke right once in you know one chance right and I feel a goal for him this season was to prove that wrong and before I get any further, you're entitled to your own opinion, right? This is just how I see the season. But anyway, let's continue on. Sure, it didn't start that way, most envisioned, being 3-5 three, three and five, and a whole lot of talk about him being on the hot seat, him and John Lynch, to he needs to start Trey, and a whole lot of other stuff that gets more and more insane, right? I, I was part of that as well. I had thoughts of maybe you do need to start Trey. I ain't gonna lie to you guys there, right? But the 49ers didn't call it season, right? They were still not mathematically eliminated, right? And, and that's due to the NFL's new rules, right? And as a fan, I'm glad they did. From that 3-5 and five start to a 10-7 and seven finish was a roller coaster of games that were fun and frustrating to watch. And I wouldn't change a thing, especially the ending where he had to beat the Rams to get into the playoffs, right? That was, was probably one of the most fun games I watched in the Kyle Shanahan era, and there's been a lot of games in which I felt my heart beat. But that was one of my favorites. One I, I probably remember, right? And for the season, you saw improvement from the defense finally getting adjusted to D'Amico Ryans, and D'Amico Ryans getting adjusted to the defense to Kyle putting the team's MVP, Debo Samuel, a right receiver in the backfield to generate a rushing offense, and it worked. There were so many different times you saw them having to figure something out to win a game, and that's just pure resiliency, right? Then came playoffs, and for everyone who watched the 49ers when they were kids in the 90s, I wasn't born in the 90s, but, you know, seeing these, you know, it was still fun seeing them go into Dallas, right? And being the Cowboys when they shouldn't have, right? And going into Lambeau Field in the freezing cold, zero degree weather, and being the Green Bay Packers by basically sheer luck of a special teams play. And then, you know, the ending wasn't what most people expect. Just, you know, the hope got, hope kept building up for this playoffs. People thought this was a team of destiny. I sort of, certainly felt that right. I felt like no one could beat the 49ers besides the 49ers, and, and in a way, it did happen during the against the Rams. So yes, the 49ers were sure to go, but 30 other teams beside will be as well in two weeks when only one team is holding the Lombardi Trophy. But what some of those teams can say is that they showed this growth and resiliency for the season, right? This team could have easily packed the season in early and started a trade, but they didn't. Kyle didn't, right? Because he and this team has something to prove, right? That 2019 wasn't a fluke. And with this season, I think they proved that. Hopefully, now this is a standard for 49ers football. And if you don't care for anything I just said, just remember, Trey Lance is starting next season. You're going to see... A quarterback that is physically more gifted than Jimmy Garoppolo start for this team, right? The one problem everyone had with Jimmy Garoppolo, his physical differences, right? You're not gonna have that with Trey Lance. You're gonna have sure you're gonna have those mental freaking breaks, you know, mental lapses in judgment. But just think about that. If 
if Trey Lance, a more physical quarterback than Jimmy, can just play like Jimmy Garoppolo, right? Have a similar stat line to Jimmy Garoppolo. This team's back in the playoffs. And heck, if that if if you're excited for Four Niners football just because of that, then good on you. But that will be it for this video. I just, you know, I need to get back in to make a Four Niners content, and this was one of the ways I felt to get into the content. There will be more because you know we got a full draft to go through i i don't know if i'm gonna put my hand in that drafting stuff i'm not really good at P player assessment but i'm good at you know figuring out what the team's trying to do but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe comment more for an understand lsu contents on the way i got a video coming out wednesday on lsu and then Whatever comes next, I honestly don't know. I'll f probably figure something out. But it, and also, if you want, subscribe to me on. Tw I mean, follow me on Twitter. That's the ad right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see you guys next time.